So all in all, this project ended up taking me five months to complete. It might happen and I'm just going to deal with that emotionally when I get to it. Hi, I'm Emma aka Midsummer Knit Stream and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos about knitting and fiber arts and I would really love it if you checked out my videos and subscribed. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the process of designing my very first garment and sort of just showing you the process of me working on it, having to frog, and creating the very first sample of this garment design that I'm hoping to release someday. So I want to give a little TLDR of my knitting background before I hop into the creation of this design. Um, if you've seen my knitting journey video, I explained a little bit of my journey and how I got into where I am today with knitting. Uh, a basic TLDR is that I learned how to knit in elementary school. Knitting has sort of been passed down through my family, so my grandma and my mom both know how to knit, and that is how I learned at such a young age. I then spent a lot of elementary and middle school being super into knitting. I created a blog. I actually had a few designs that re I released myself during that time. Then throughout high school and college, I did not really knit at all. I sort of just fell off because I had so many academic commitments that it was hard for me to make time for knitting throughout that time. With that being said, it's been 10 years since I've actually designed anything. Since I recently got back into knitting as someone in her mid twenties, I am really excited about making garments this time around. And so I've been thinking for quite a while that I've wanted to try and design a garment. With that being said, designing garments is definitely trickier than designing something like a hat or a pair of socks, basically just the kinds of things that I put out designs for when I was younger. So there's definitely a big set of difficulties that I've never even faced with designing, even in my childhood. I had this idea for a garment design way back in February. So it has been quite a while since I had the idea initially. And around that time, I decided to start trying out this design. I'm going to show you a bit of my process creating this design. I didn't make my YouTube channel until about midway through when I was creating this design. So a bit of the design process I just don't have documented. Um, basically, I'll just walk you through what I didn't document on video, which is that the design that I was thinking of is a tank top. It has sort of a sweetheart neckline, so it goes into a V shape before going straight up into the straps. And I also wanted to create a special design on the bust. I think it's a little bit difficult to describe without showing you the finished object itself, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But basically I wanted to create a design on the bust where there would be sort of increases from the center bust stitch and it would create a really cool looking tank top design. And so like I said, I had this idea way back in February. So at that time, I thought it would be realistic for me to create this tank top and maybe release the design sometime in summer. Um, I think there was a little bit of wishful thinking there looking back now, but I started working on this design and I've talked about it in a couple of other videos as well, but this design is in fingering weight, which is a quite thin yarn. I also started out the design on US size one needles. Um, I'll put up the European conversion up here, but I think it's 2.25 millimeters. And those are also very thin needles. And the first portion of the design is just, is just plain ribbing until I get up to around my bust. So. There's several inches of just plain ribbing with fingering weight yarn on very tiny needles. And so it basically took me a month to complete the several inches of ribbing that I wanted to include um, to create the body of the tank top. And that's also not including the time that I took to figure out the idea, to swatch, to come up with a chart. I spent a lot of time before actually starting the project just ideating and swatching and figuring things out. So there was a lot of time put into this design before I even really got to the meat of the knitting. So after I completed the ribbing section, I started actually getting into the bust design, which I created a chart for in order to follow to create that bust design. Um, and this was the point where I feel like I really lost steam with this project, although I had already been struggling with the ribbing section since it took so long. But with the bust design, I ended up having to frog it three times. And I think that I've captured the third aka the successful time of me knitting this bust design on video, but the first two times I had to frog it, basically I lost a lot of motivation for the project. I also just got distracted and worked on lots of different projects throughout. I think when it comes down to it, I do better as a sort of monogamous knitter, as in having one or maybe two projects going on at the same time. But with this project, it was really hard for me to stick to it because it was my own design and that led to me having to frog it multiple times and just think really deeply about what I was doing in every step of the process. There was no really easy part of this project. So with that being said, I think when you're designing something yourself and specifically this design, which I, this was probably a really tricky first design to take on, 
Um, it just helps to have another project or two that are just like a little bit easier and more mindless. And so you guys know I have a BK first quilt, which is something I've been working on for ages. And that's a really good mindless project just so that I can whip it out and make a hexagon in a couple of minutes. But with that being said, I just allowed myself to get a little bit distracted with other projects and not to work on this design for quite a while, which looking back, I definitely regret. In July, I made a decision that it was time for me to crack down on my works in progress and stop starting so many new projects that were basically just a way for me to avoid my previous works in progress that I was stuck on. I actually have a video about this up on my channel, which I will link. But when I made that decision, I decided that this tank top was the main project that I wanted to be focusing on at the moment because I'd just been avoiding it for so many months. Uh, I knew I had to frog it again and make another attempt at the bus design and I just had been putting it off for so long. So finally, towards the end of July, I picked this project back up. So with all of that introduction completed, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the clips of me making this design. All right, without further ado, let's roll the clips. Hey, so it is July 22nd. I've been working on this design that I'm trying to figure out. I've been working on this design since I believe February and it's been taking a long time for a couple of reasons. Um, but aside from that, uh, I've also have been having some struggles with the design itself. It took a lot of math to figure out what I want the design to look like and then additionally, after even doing that math and figuring out what, where I thought I wanted the pattern to exist on the tank top, um, I've been trying it on and realizing that it's not really in the right place. Basically, I'm trying to do this bust detailing and I want it to be visible from the front of the shirt and sort of in the right place on my chest to look correct with the design. And right now, I think it's a little bit too far apart. Um, just in that, when you see the front of this shirt, you can't necessarily see the design itself very well at least not both sides of the design. So I think I want to redo this top. I'm also redoing it a second time, at least this sort of chest detailing part, and I want to redo it with the design closer together. Um, I think potentially this could be because I forgot to account for the negative ease that is going to come into play when I wear the garment. So I probably calculated, okay, this is where I want the design to live on the tank top without realizing that the de design is also going to be stretched out. So. I'm going to try and pull out back to the start of this design. So around here, I hope you can actually see what I'm pointing to because I know this is a very tiny design at the moment, but I'm gonna pull out to around here where this safety pin is and redo that lo the last couple inches um, and the beginning of this design. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along so far. I'm just a little frustrated that I've had to frog one time already and now I'm going to have to again and that it's such slow progress because I'm on size one needles, but I'm really hoping that I get somewhere with this next attempt and that I'm happier with how the design is looking because I've been working on this, as I mentioned, for quite a while and it would be really cool if I could actually put out this pattern sometime this year. Um, I think I'm a little bit late for actually getting the best time of year as in you know spring or like early in the summer. It's now July, like I mentioned, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try my best. August 1st and this is where we're at with the groovy tank. I really like how it's coming along. I feel like the pattern is actually starting to show up and being in the right placement of my body. Um, so I really am excited with how it's coming along. So here's how we're looking. I really like how it's looking. Just to give a formal update. It is August 5th. I've made a bit of progress on my groovy tank. I am almost done with this chest detailing, which is sort of the main bulk of the design, but I also have the neckline to do. I'm concerned the neckline might take a little bit of reworking as well. So I like how we're looking so far, but I might put in a lifeline once I'm ready to start on the neckline, just so I can have, you know, literally a lifeline in case I need to pull out. Yeah, I'm really liking how it looks at least for myself as something to wear. Hey, it's August 11th. I've not been the best at filming updates for this tank top, but I'm about at the point where I'm going to start splitting for the neckline and also I think binding off for the underarms. So I'm really in an interesting spot with this one. 
just in that a lot of things could sort of go wrong. And I do really love how this bust design came out. I think it looks really, really cool. I also need to charge my camera, so we're, we're living the dream out here. Hello, good afternoon. It is August 12th and I'm gonna give a little update on my tank top right now. I'm actually currently in Virginia in my parents' home, so I'm coming to visit them and I've been working on the groovy tank. I actually only brought the groovy tank to work on so I could sort of force myself to get some progress done on it. And I have gotten some progress done on it. I think I'm about the point where I can start on the underarms. To be honest, I am just guessing. I haven't really done many, or actually I don't think I've done any, just sort of like normally constructed bottom up tank tops. I've made the made you look top, which is sort of a weird construction. And then I've also made the, the one that I want cropped by Lily Kate France, which is side to side. So. Neither of those really helped to inform me sort of how I'm supposed to be constructing this tank top. I actually bought a couple of patterns yesterday to sort of um, do research into how these patterns bind off for the underarm and how many stitches to bind off and if you're supposed to decrease after and all that. And I think I have a rough idea of what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm also just guessing to be honest. So I think I'm at the point where I can start binding off for the underarm um, since you can see this sort of lines up with where my sports bra lines up. So I think that's a good spot, but we'll see. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to frog, but if I do, it's not the end of the world and I hopefully can figure it out. I'm really hoping I can get this done by around the end of August. So we'll see if that happens. Like I said, it's early August right now and it'd be really cool if I could finish this even actually next week I'm going on a trip to the beach. So if I could finish this at that trip, that would be amazing, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm going with my family and also bringing my friend, so obviously I don't want to just abandon them and be knitting the entire time. But if we're, you know, watching a lot of TV, hanging out, and talking in the living room and stuff like that, I think it's very realistic that I could get a lot of work done on this. One more idea I had is, so since this sample has taken me so long to knit, and it has a pretty large amount of ribbing before I even start on the pattern, um, I wanted to make it sort of just like a cropped normal top, so a little bit cropped, uh, sort of landing around my belly button. But I was thinking if I want to do another sample, just to finalize details, to switch some things, and maybe just to have another sample to photograph, I was thinking it would be a good idea to make a much more cropped version, so sort of more like a bralette, maybe only having like an inch or two of ribbing before I start on the bust design. And that way I'll be showing not only a couple of variations of what the pattern could be, depending on how cropped you want it to be, but I would also just be able to finish that second sample a lot faster and sort of get the details locked in without having to do like two months worth of ribbing like I did here. And I'm sure I could have done this ribbing a little bit faster, especially if I had been, you know, not putting things off so much. But I don't know, I think it's a good idea for me to do a slight variation on the design that's also just going to speed up the process and make things a lot easier for me. Anyways, so that's where I'm at with the groovy tank. Really exciting things coming, I hope. Um, I'm hoping my next update will not just be me frogging and being upset, but it might happen and I'm just going to deal with that emotionally when I get to it. All right, you can't see that well, but it's starting to come together. I'm a little bit conflicted if I did slightly too much binding off under the underarm because it feels a little bit too wide. But yeah, I'm still conflicted. I think I'm gonna knit a little bit more and see how it looks. And I, I'm not I'm not sure if it's that big of a deal. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, I've only knit a couple of rows or a few rows starting the sweetheart top neckline, but I think it looks pretty good so far. My phone is about to die, but oh my god. It's looking so good. Let me just switch the uh, uh, angle really quick. When I said my phone was about to die, and then my camera. Anyways, look at this. So basically I finished one side of the neckline. I think it looks so good. I wanted this to be a little bit more of a crisp edge, but I'm not sure what I can do about that since I kind of just went from decreasing to going straight. And I don't know how I can make the edge any crisper. But I think it looks so good. I'm excited. I'm gonna do the other side now. 
So at this point I basically had completed the neckline on both sides, and I was also on vacation at the beach, so I made my mom take some clips of me at our beach house. I forgot to film an official update video since I was on vacation for a lot of this, but I've officially, I've officially finished the knitting section of this tank, and I'm now blocking it. And you'll notice I didn't actually seam the straps yet, that's because I'm waiting to see if they're stretched out a bit by blocking, and if so I'll pull out a little bit of it, but I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and block this, and once it's dry, we're gonna go check on the strap length, see how that is, and fix that if needed, and then seam the straps to the back, and we're done. So I'm super excited. I know you haven't seen a trying clip with it completely done yet, but I'll show you as soon as this is done blocking. August 26th, and I actually finished my first sample of the Groovy Tank on August 23rd. I actually did not film a video clip right when I finished the design, just because I tend to do a lot of knitting late at night, and I think I finished around like 10.30 or 11 p.m. and just was too tired to film another clip. But I'm gonna have some clips of the finished object thrown in here. I'm also wearing it right now, although you can't see too much of it. Um, but I'm gonna include some clips and some photos of the finished object just to give you a good idea of what it looks like. So all in all, this project ended up taking me five months to complete. And the truth is that's a pretty crazy number for something that is just seemingly a pretty straightforward tank top. Um, I think there were just so many factors going into this with the tiny needle size, the ribbing, all of that made it very, very difficult for me to make a lot of progress on the top. Another thing was the amount of frogging and having to just figure out the design over and over again. There was a lot of effort put into it and there are certain days where I just didn't want to put that effort in and so I opted for a different project and I often ended up taking a break from this project for weeks or months on end. At the end of the day, yes, this is a little bit of a slower knit compared to other tank tops just because it involves a lot of ribbing, it's fingering weight, um, all of that stuff. But with that being said, I still really, really enjoyed knitting it and I think it's okay to not make every design with complete ease of knitting in mind. Like it's okay to have a little bit of a challenge and it's okay to take on things that are outside of your comfort zone if you think it's going to come out well. And I am unbelievably happy with how this design came out so I can't really complain. I can't really say that any of it was a mistake because I'm insanely happy with how it came out. So I think the most obvious question on my mind now is what is next for this design? So like I said, I am insanely happy with how this design came out. I think this first sample is really gorgeous. There are several more things I need to do for this design. So like I said, I'm going to knit a second sample with some modifications. I'm also going to start working on the pattern. I'm going to need to talk to a tech editor because I especially think that this is not going to be the most straightforward design to grade, but because it has a sort of bust design that has to align well with your body. And I don't really know how to go about that. There's a lot of open questions for me there. After I sort of work on the pattern and get a tech editor to help me out a bit, I'm then going to do a test knitting call. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram and on YouTube and all of these places because I will definitely be posting when I am ready to do a test knitting call. I'm actually going to also link a newsletter link below. That's going to be a newsletter where I'm going to post about my designs and test knitting calls. And if you subscribe to it, you'll be the first one to know when my test knitting call is happening so you can sign up earlier. Anyways, all of this to say, there is a lot more time and effort that needs to be spent on this design before I can actually release it. But even considering all of that, I am so excited for this design and proud of myself for um, the perseverance that I showed pushing through all of these challenges. I think knitting recently for me has been a little bit more of a struggle. I've had a couple of projects, including this one, that I've had to frog multiple times and continuously be figuring out what is wrong with it, like if I can change the fit to make it fit better, if some stitches look wonky. I've just faced a lot more challenges with knitting, I feel like, recently, to the point where sometimes it has been really frustrating, but I still love knitting at the end of the day. It's been so many years since I have put out a design, and in my mind, this is sort of a start of a new era when it comes to designing. Um, 
I feel like I'm basically back to square zero when it comes to designing experience, and specifically for garments, that's the case. So I'm really proud of my own perseverance pushing through the difficulties and being able to finish this design. And I'm really excited for what's to come. I have so many more design ideas in my head that I want to start working on. And it's a little bit funny to say this because I haven't even put out any designs as an adult at least, but I'm really excited for what's to come in terms of my designing experience. And I can't wait to try new things. So thank you so much for watching this video and following along with me on this journey of designing this tank top, which by the way is going to be called the Groovy Tank. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. If you're still here, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, keep your eyes out for the Groovy Tank coming probably next spring. Once again, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my newsletter if you want to get updates on test knitting and the pattern release. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.